Hello and welcome to the Mitre 10 Cup Round 6 predictions from Driving Mall. Yep, we're into round six and only nine out of the nine rounds that are part of the main season. So we are nearly, or well, this will be, two thirds of the way through. I'm Paul, the guy behind Driving Mall, and I'm sorry that I missed out on round five predictions uh, video. You could have caught it on um, www.drivingmall.com. Um, I done my written predictions there, but I had a sore throat last week, and uh, yeah, I wasn't feeling very well. So, first up, the Bay of Plenty host Southland, and yep, Southland played 5 uh, one zero. Um, so you've got to say Bay of Plenty, even though with they've only won two games this season, this should be a win for them, and I'm backing them to win by 10. Now, both these teams, the teams are going to have to back up later in the week, so it's going to be a real tough one for Southland this week, or this round. Otago then host Auckland. Um, two teams that have just got two wins this season. Auckland are really struggling. Um, Otago uh, perhaps not doing quite as well as we would have expected, really, um, having uh, topped the championship last season. Um, but I think they will have too much for their premiership um, visitors, and I'm backing Otago to win that one by five. Next up, Manawatu are visited by Northland. Um, Northland, I think I've already said several times this season, really have impressed me um, after uh, having several seasons of um, uh, yeah, being one of the uh, easy beats of the tournament, let's be honest, um, really are showing um, some things this season. And I think they, um, even away, they should get um, up over um, Manawatu. So I'm backing Northland by three. So not a big one. I think it should be a tight one. Um, but um, let's see how that one goes. Then we have the tie of the round, North Harbour. Five wins from five games. Um, against Canterbury um, with five wins from six games. Just that loss last weekend um, against the Lions. It was a big upset. Um, I think Canterbury will bounce back from that and I'm expecting them to win it on by five. But if there's any game you're going to get to watch this weekend, that has got to be the one that you're going to target. After that, we travel down from Auckland to Hamilton where Waikato will host those Lions. Um, and uh, let's be honest, Wellington are looking like uh, they're going to get promoted this season. Um, and so you've got to say, I think they'll beat Waikato and probably by about um, 15. I think that should be quite a big win um, for the guys from the capital. Next, um, the Magpies from Hawke's Bay host uh, Taranaki. Um, Magpies just with a win in the opening round and uh, on a five-game losing streak uh, coming up against Taranaki, uh, who have got four wins from five. And a team that really a lot of people sort of thought would be pushing Canterbury um, or be Canterbury's closest rivals um, for the title. Uh, so I think Taranaki will pick up another win here uh, to keep themselves on track for those uh, premiership finals. Uh, so I'm backing Taranaki by a seven. Bay of Plenty then have to back up and host um, Counties Manukau. Um, I really can't see that one going well for them. Um, and I think Counties um, will win that one um, by seven. And then to finish the round, Tasman host Southland. Now, Tasman did start the season pretty poorly with two losses, but they've racked up three wins since then. Um, and Southland, as I've already said, um, will probably be having six losses by this point. So you've got to say, uh, Tasman, I'm going to say by seven, but it could be a lot more. Those are my predictions. So please let me know your thoughts on how, uh, on how you see the round going um, and uh, with the comments below. Also, don't forget to sign up for the Driving Mall and Newsletter link down below um, so that you don't miss out on any of my predictions uh, and other pieces as well.